Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to go ahead and create a video tutorial on how to set up the GroupMe bot that I created. Um, I wrote it in Node.js. It is based off of the GroupMe bot that is found at the GroupMe bot tutorial in Node.js uh, code repository. There is a step-by-step -step right here in the README. I plan on updating the README, uh, adding some more examples. Um, I guess a to-do list I'm keeping. Uh, so just kind of keep an eye on it here. I'll share a video later on on how to update the code when I send out updates uh, but for now this is just a video I wanted to get going uh, for some people that have been asking for how to set up the bot um, first you should have a group me account already um, if you don't then I mean you, you don't need a group me bot so you, you should have that uh, the next thing you'll want to do is go to the openshift.com sign up for free and go ahead and sign up with a free account um, once you're done with that, you submit it and you'll get a validation email. And um, it may take a minute or two. Make sure you check your spam box and all that. Mine came right to my inbox in my Gmail account. Um, when you click that verification link, you should end up here. If not, go ahead and just click applications and it'll bring you to your first, um, to the page to set up your first application. We're going to click the create your application now. Um, it, it was like I said, it was written in Node.js. So we're going to scroll down here to other types. At the time of this video, it is Node.js 0.1. Um, any future Node.js should work. Um, there are so in right here, you have a, a namespace and an application name. Um, we're using the free servers at uh, RH Cloud, um, which is um, Red Hat Cloud. It's OpenShift's platform. Uh, so we need an application name, we're going to call it GMBot, and we need a uh, subdomain since we haven't created one yet. All of your future applications will share this, um, but if you're only creating it for this bot, then it doesn't matter anyway. So I'm just going to choose GMBot and GMBot. Uh, for the source code, we're going to go ahead and grab this address for the group me bot that I created and paste it right here in this optional URL to a Git repository. The branch and tag I think will default to master. Um, I'm not certain of that though, so I'm going to go ahead and put master there, and the rest can be default. Uh, the server doesn't really matter. Uh, the Node.js server, it, or the uh, OpenShift server, is going to be communicating with the GroupMe servers, not with your computer. So wherever you're located isn't really relevant. Um, and I believe GroupMe has servers all over the place, so uh, any of these should work. I go ahead and just leave it with the US East default. Um, this will take a few minutes. I mean, this may take up to like five minutes. So while this is going, we can go ahead and uh, do the things we need to do in GroupMe. If we hover over, hover over this icon right here, we can start a group. And you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and name it Bot Config, Create Group. I'm going to skip adding anyone. You do not want to add anyone to this room. You will be um, sending the bot commands and information for your bot IDs and your access token. Um, you don't want to share that with anyone, so don't add anyone to this room. GroupMe is creating um, a way to be able to just uh, direct message your bot. I, I've experimented with a little, and it's just not at a point where I'm comfortable using it yet. So uh, this is basically the same idea. Uh, just don't add anyone to this room. Okay, from there, uh, we need to create a bot on the uh, developer's GroupMe site. You can find a link right here in the README. Um, I'll put this link in the description of the video as well. Uh, it's right here. You may have to log in um, with the same credentials that you log in for the GroupMe site, your, your email address and your password. Uh, go ahead and click on bots when you get here and click create bot. You can give the bot any name uh, that you want. Just make sure the chosen group is the group you just created. Ours is bot config. We can name it, uh, we'll just name it Mr. Bot. The callback URL you should be able to get from OpenShift. Sometimes your it, it, the application will bring you here. Um, it, sometimes it will bring you right to the application. Uh, if it brings you here, just go ahead and click the continue to application overview. Otherwise, you can always get back to it just by clicking Applications and going here uh, to your bot. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and control click this address to open it in a new tab so we can grab it for easy copying. 
Um, we need to add the MongoDB. Any future versions should work. At the time of this, obviously, it's 2.4. Uh, this will add a database component to our application, and we need that. Um, the GroupMe bot uses the database for storing custom commands, um, storing uh, who's a mod and um, your owner information, everything. So it, it needs to have, basically this gives the bot a memory, and it needs that. Uh, back in our developers page, we can, we need to set up the callback URL, so we're going to grab it right from here. In that tab we open, we can also get it right from our application page that was on there. Uh, paste that in, and we are going to give it a, an address of that plus the dot and the config. Uh, so it needs to be the address to your application with a forward slash bot and a forward slash config for this first bot, the bot that you're alone with in a room. Go ahead and submit that. Uh, when that's done, you can click on your bot anywhere on here to give you a little information. If you'd like to make sure that you have it set up correctly, go ahead and type a message in this little section right here and hit publish. And in GroupMe, you'll see your bot has sent you a message, sent a message to that group. All right, so that's working. We're going to go ahead and grab the bot ID. And we'll need that later, so I just copy in that. And we're going to wait on our open shift application here in a moment um, or after it's set up you'll be able to test we'll get a little message here that uh, just kind of confirms for us that the bot is running after you have open shift added it gives you the the name and the password and don't worry guys this application will be deleted as soon as I'm done with this video um, but go ahead and click this little restart application icon and confirm that you want to restart it after you have the MongoDB set up. Um, again, this takes a minute, um, but this will uh, go ahead. This basically will start your application for you. Uh, the next step we'll be doing as soon as that is done is sending the command to our bot to set the config room. So if you remember, I copied that ID, our bot ID. Um, we're going to use that with this config command to uh, config, start to begin the configuring of the bot. Um, so this is set up. Now we should be able to refresh this and get a little message. Yes, I am a robot. So our bot is up and running. Um, back in our group, me group we're going to type the forward slash config. And we're going to paste our bot ID. And that should get us this message. Um, so config bot ID is set. Great you will be recognized as the bot owner as well as a moderator okay um, that's actually not true we'll have to set ourselves as the moderator I haven't coded that part yet but it will be in a future update um, we can add the bot to additional rooms following this so first we create a bot at dev.groupme.com so we'll do that back in our bots well first actually you'll probably have other rooms already created for your group me if but I'm going to create one here we'll type friends uh, create group. We would add a bunch of people here, and I'm chatting with all my friends. And I want, we say, we want to have a bot in there. So we'll go ahead and create a bot. Make sure it's in the friends room. We'll give it our name, friend bot, and a callback URL that is the starts with the application. And we're gonna go forward slash bot and forward slash. Let's call it friend bot. You can give it an avatar URL if you want. Um, it's just a little picture that shows up when the bot sends messages. Uh, whatever you want. Just find one on the internet or upload one. And we'll go ahead and submit. Um, the second thing we want to do, actually, is uh, go ahead and mod add. Give yourself a name. Whatever you want. You can be me, Mr. Bot, GM Bot, whatever, uh, whatever you want. Um, and at yourself and go ahead and select yourself should show up in bold um, sometimes when I s when you first set up the bot you can you may need to restart it or it may ignore your first command after right after you set the config room um, you may have to send the first command twice there's a little bug there I haven't debugged yet I haven't really spent time on it I've been trying to get the bot up and running uh, so just know that you may have to send that first message after you set a room twice. So I do apologize. It's a bug. I will find it. Just haven't spent any time looking for it yet. Um, 
So now you you are you're a mod. Um, with mods, with being a mod comes extra control of the bot. You can add commands and do all of those kinds of things. Uh, so we went ahead and added yourself as a mod. We want to add a room. So we're going to do room, add, and you have to give the name of the, that is the same of the callback URL that you gave the bot. And we need that bot ID. So we're going to go back here and grab the bot ID. Remember, so the name of the bot has to be this, the end of the callback URL that you gave. Uh, friend bot. It's whatever you choose. And just know that you can't reuse it on multiple bots. So if we were to add the bot in another room, we would not use friend bot. We would give it something else. Uh, buddy bot or, or whatever that room is for, something relevant. Um, but you have to, it has to be unique and you have to remember it. Just for this command right here, room add friend bot. And we're going to give it that ID. Okay. Uh, at this time, you can't remove the bot from rooms yet. You can just, uh, I mean, what what you can do if you need to remove it from a room is delete it from your bots list right here, and that will take it out of the room. You can always recreate another one and add it in a room, um, same way we did this. So, all right, so the bot is in this room. Um, the next thing you should be aware of is right here at your application address. There is a slash commands page that is created for you by the bot. It is dynamic. As we add commands, it will update itself. Um, all of the mod commands here are what's available to mods. So we can add a command. We can add a mention. I'll be updating this page sometime in the near future as well. This is just something I threw together. Um, I don't really like the way this works, and it's not very mobile friendly. Um, but it was just something to put on there just to get it out and get it started. I've been asked to... Uh, by a few people on getting the bot set up for themselves. Um, the fun and no fun commands don't really do anything yet. Um, so we can go ahead, but we can go ahead and test that the bot is working in our friend room with our slash about command. If we just type slash about, the bot should respond with a little message that says group me bot beta version 0 0.1 by foo. If you're interested, the source can be found right here, which links back to our GitHub. Um, repository here and a little message feel free to fork and contribute I'm yeah if you want go ahead if you know any coders or anything uh, that update the bot or anything uh, go ahead and feel free to to contribute to fork it uh, make a pull request or push request um, looking forward I mean it's open source so uh, anything like that um, so just a, a real quick I'll show you a couple of things it can do um, that's that's basically all that it takes to get the bot up and running um, but a couple things you can do, if you look at, we do have the command add name message command for mods. And you can add other people as mods just by slash mod add. Uh, give them whatever nickname you know them as, whatever you want. just has to be a word with no spaces. So uh, buddy guy um, and at them. They, they have to be in the room you're adding, you're modding them. Or you can't add them. Um, so that you would you would add them like that, and then you could add extra mods. Um, anyone who's a mod can use a command like command add, and we'll just do ping and the reply message pong. The bot will give us a little confirmation and let us know that we have the describe command available to, for the ping message now. Command describe ping. We can just say responds with pong great ping description upgrade updated so we can do slash ping and the bot will respond with pong so we just added a command if we go to our commands page and refresh you can see ping has been added and if we click on ping it says it responds with pong so that's our description that we added um, it's got a few uh, these built-in commands flip coin id uh, mod list and so on uh, the quote system is a little fun. Uh, it can be turned off with the no fun command. Um, and that's only for mods. So if it gets out of hand, a mod can type slash no fun and turn it off. Uh, you can add custom mentions, which is pretty similar to commands. Um, we just do mention, add. And when, let's say you want to be able to ping all your mods at one time. So you could mention add mods. Hey, mods. Uh, you are needed and then you would add 
a mention, you know, at anyone you want on this. Um, so if there's other people, you could do uh, your friend Jimmy, your friend Johnny, whoever. Uh, and this will add a custom mention for those people. And you can do mention describe mods, pings, solo mods. You don't have to do the description if you don't. Um, it just will it will not have a description in that commands list. Um, but I, I recommend it for anyone viewing that commands list to be able to know what your commands are. So now if we do, hey mods, hey at mods, I need you. As long as it has at mods, it should trigger the met, the mods mention, and the bot will respond and send a push notification to any of those uh, people. You can remove them, mention, remove mods. Oops, make sure you type it correctly. So now that's gone. Same thing with command, command, remove, ping. And you can edit, um, you can edit commands and mentions the same way that you would add them. So you would uh, command, edit, give the name of the command, and the the new message so you replace so if we were to go back to command add ping pong and then we type ping the bot will respond with pong <clears throat> there's a little delay on um, some of the responses most of that's group me just slowing it down a little so that it's not spamming uh, if you refresh sometimes it'll come in quicker so there it is so there's pong we can do slash command edit ping. Don't ping me anymore. So ping message is updated, and then we do slash ping, and basically it responds with that new message. So we're gonna remove that. No more ping command. The one command I do suggest that you add is uh, a way for users to find your command list easy. Uh, just through the bot, so you can do it. You can call it whatever you want. Help commands, whatever. Um, and grab, oops, grab this address and paste it. And we'll do command describe help um, links to this list of commands. The bot. The, I haven't found a way to make the bot recognize the server that it's on, I mean, the address. Um, I don't know if there's if that's saved somewhere on OpenShift, um, but if you were to use a different server that's not OpenShift anyways, then I mean, you're gonna need to tell it where, where it's at. There's no way for it to know. <clears throat> so there you go, so now we have that, and if we go to our list, we remove those other ones, and but we have this help command now. And that's basically it. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment on the video um, or send me a, a, a message or something or find me on GroupMe or, or however you can get in touch with me. I'll be happy to answer. Um, also, on the, the GitHub repository, you can um, leave me a message or make me aware of a bug on there. Um, all right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, good luck and have fun.